Okay, so we're just uh, continuing to head west here past uh, El Dorado Beach Road. There's uh, a few stops that we have coming up here. All right, so we're uh, at our first little stop here uh, after the uh, after the road crossing, and so what we have here is we have uh, some of the old style segmented concrete culverts. Um, actually, two of them still set into place here, and so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to drop down and uh, and take a look at them and uh, kind of see what uh, see what's going on here. Okay, so we're down here below the level of the grade. You can, uh, we're on the south side. You can just see the grade just above us there. And so we're taking a look at these, uh, these twin culverts here. Um, you can see they are fairly large diameter culverts. Uh, you don't see a lot of these on here, uh, especially in this sort of twin configuration. I'm gonna try to jump the creek here and give you a slightly different angle without falling in the creek. So it is springtime, so you can see that there is uh, quite a bit of flow here coming out of them, and they still seem to be working okay. They are, uh, you can see this one here on the west side is kind of a bit disjointed, and maybe we'll be able to see that a little bit better on the uh, on the north side. So we'll hop the grade and go take a look at from that side. Okay, so we've hopped the grade. Uh, we're over on the north side now, and you can see the, uh, the two ends of the culvert, uh, basically the uh, female ends or the flanged end here where the other culvert would have fit into. Um, I'm not sure if we can get any uh, closer. Again, I don't want to fall in the creek. When I was here in the fall time, I basically walked right through these culverts. Uh, you can see that they are um, displaced in several places and here you can actually see they did try to repair them. Looks like there has been some mortar that's been put in between. I don't know about this one here. I don't know if I can get any closer to this one without falling in. Uh, this one seems to be equally as disjointed. You can see water kind of flowing in between the cracks and that'll eventually kind of uh, weaken the, uh, the spot above it here. You can kind of see the conduit for the, uh, for the fiber. And We'll just take a quick look here. But I did notice that there is a base for a telegraph pole here. I don't see a pole anywhere around here. So that may have, uh, that may have vanished. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're going to jump back up on the grade and we're gonna continue working our way to the west. Okay, so we're heading west here from the uh, from the culverts, and uh, our next stop is coming up here very, very shortly. So I'll zoom you ahead there. All right, so our next stopping point here is uh, another culvert. Uh, this one's just a newer metal one, but uh, and it seems fairly dry, which is surprising. Uh, again, I was here before, and uh, the uh, the writing on there is very very difficult to make out. Um, 
the uh, I think on the uh, the original subdivisions I think it works out to be 126.2 um, and so basically uh, just uh, roughly if you want to add that so it's uh, uh, basically 176 uh, somewhere around there on the uh, on the Kinghorn So again, here you can see how very, very close we are to the uh, to the highway. Just a few hundred feet to our uh, to our north here. You'll be able to see it much better right up here. Actually, this is a good spot to stop because we have two things. So there's the highway right there. Let me uh, ditch my bike here. We have two things. I don't know if I can get there without getting wet, which I don't really want to do. Spring is nice because all the leaves are down, but um, it tends to be a little soggy. Especially we had uh, a bunch of days of rain. So you can see here, we have the remains of the telegraph pole. I don't think there's any, uh, I don't think there's any insulators left on here. Just basically the, uh, the cross beams. And the, uh, and the pegs. Kind of a neat little find. Looks like this is the, uh, it could be the base there. There's a pile of rocks there. And so again, you can see the, uh, the highway just to the north of us. Okay, so we're gonna make our way back, jump on the grade and uh, keep heading south, uh, keep heading west.